Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll explain how you can attempt a test on Code Tantra platform. Now, before we jump into the actual demonstration, let's have a look at the recommended combination of operating system and browser. The five major operating systems available today are Window Operating System, Mac OS, Linux OS, Android OS, or iOS. If you are taking a test through a Windows based laptop or desktop, then you can use either Google Chrome browser or you can go with Microsoft Edge browser. If you are attempting the test on a Mac OS based laptop or desktop, then you can use Chrome browser. Similarly, if you are using a Linux OS based laptop or desktop, then again you can use Chrome browser. If you are using an Android based device, then you can either use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser as per your liking. But if you are using iOS based devices such as iPhone, then you should use Safari browser that too of version 13 or above. You should also note that at the time of taking the test, your browser should be updated for the best user experience. I'm going to attempt my test on a window machine, so I'll go with the Chrome browser. Once I'll come to the Chrome browser, the next thing I'll do is I'll type the web URL which I'm supposed to visit. Once I'll type this web URL, then I'll hit the enter key and then I'll come to the login page. On this login page, you'll be able to see a sign in screen and at the top, you'll be able to see a logo also, which will be logo of your institute that you belong to. Now, if you're able to see this logo, that means you are on the correct login page. If you are not able to see the logo of your institute probably you are not on the right login page so you need to check your url that you are visiting just in case if you are visiting the right url then you can enter your email id and password in the designated space and then you can click on submit once i'll click on the submit button i'll come to the home screen on the home screen itself i'll be able to see a test card and once i'll click on this test card i'll be able to see a test which is scheduled for me and the name of the test is my test it is going to start exactly in six minutes from now now in order to take this test i'm going to click on the open test button from my desktop and next time when i'll try to join the same test using a mobile phone i'll be clicking on this scan and upload button in front of the same test so for now from the laptop i'm going to click on open test Once I'll click on open test, I'll come to this environment check page. Here, a number of permission will be asked by the browser. So you need to allow all this permission in order to start the test. So I'm going to click on allow for the location. Then I'll click on allow for the camera. And then I'll be able to click on allow for the microphone also. Once I'll click on this, you'll be able to see these are getting detected here. The last thing is you need to check this audio also. So you need to click on this button then play this audio clip click yes if you can hear this audio and if you are able to hear the audio you need to click on yes and once these five checks are done you need to click on proceed to test Now in this case, you'll be able to see if the message says you can start the test in this much time. That simply means I'm early to the test. So I'll still need to wait at least this much time to start the test. Now you can notice as we have approached the, to the start time of the test, we have got this start test button. So we'll click on this start test button to start the test. Now in this example, you'll be able to see the instruction says upload answer sheets. And if you will able to see here, there is no selection box, nothing to input. And it very clearly says use mobile devices to scan and upload your answer sheet. That simply means for this particular question, we are expecting you to write something on the page. And once you write that on your page, then you use your mobile phone to scan and upload the answer sheet. This is exactly what we are going to see now how we can do that. I 
I'm using an Android mobile phone, so I'll go with the Chrome browser. Once I'll open Chrome browser, I'll enter the web URL which I want to visit to login. And once I'll enter that web URL and open that link, I'll be able to go to the login page. And here I'll be entering the same ID and password which I have used on my laptop or desktop to login. So I'm going to enter that ID and password here and then I'll click on submit. Once I'll submit into the portal, I'll be able to see the test card again on my home screen. Here I'll click on the test and now this time instead of selecting open test I'm going to select scan and upload because I'm going to use my mobile phone to scan and upload the answer sheet that I'm writing so once I'll click on scan and upload it will open the page and it will ask for the some permissions so I'll click on allow once I'll click on allow it will ask me to click on ok to go to the full screen so I'll click on ok Once I'll click on OK, you'll be able to see that the browser has taken the whole space of the mobile. That means it is running in the full screen mode. And now I'm getting an option called scan and upload. Now to, in order to take images of the answer sheet that I have written, I'll click on a scan and upload. And once I'll click on a scan and upload, I'll come to this page where I have to use this white camera button in order to take the images. Now one thing that you should notice for any particular answer, you have to click all the images of that particular question and then you have to upload them at once so in my case I'm going to just take very quickly two three dummy images just for the demonstration I'm going to click on this camera button once I'll click on this camera button it will start the camera and once it will start the camera I'll be able to place it above the answer sheet that I have written and once I'll find it appropriate I'll click on ok once I'll click on ok I'll be able to see the images and I can see it is very clear in nature so I'll click on this ok button then again I'll click on the camera button I'll go to the next page and I'll be clicking the image of the second page that I have written and then I'll click on ok again I'll go to the third page then I'll click on the camera button and then I will take the image of the third sheet. Now, if you look here, the preview of three images are available now. I can see those preview very clearly. If I want, I can reorder them and I can just simply drag and drop here by clicking on them. Now, once I'm satisfied with the order of the images, I'll click on save. And now I can click on this upload button to upload the images. So I have already taken all those three images that I want to upload. And then I'm clicking on this upload button. Once I'll click on this upload button, it will ask me to capture my face. So I'll place my face in the camera frame and then I'll click on capture. Once I'll capture, it will show the preview. The preview seems fine, so I'll click on upload. Once I'll click on upload, you'll be able to see the image has been uploaded very successfully. Now just in order to ensure that the image has been uploaded against my question, I'll simply go to my portal again and I'll click on sync. Once I'll click on sync, you'll be able to see there was a upload that has been made at this point of time. And just in case if you want to preview them, you can click on preview and you can see what you have uploaded one by one. And you can see there are three images which has been uploaded as the answer sheet. You can click on OK. If you are not satisfied with the quality of image that you have uploaded, you can simply click on remove and you can follow the same as step that you have seen earlier to upload the images again. In my case, I'm satisfied with the quality of images that I have uploaded. So I'll simply click on next. I'll get the other question. Again, I'll go back to my mobile phone. Click on a scan and upload. Again, I'll click on the camera button. And this time I'll take another picture and let us say this quality seems fine. So I'll click on OK. And let us say this time I'm only about to upload two images. So I'll take one more image before I upload. And once I'm satisfied with the quality of that image, I'll click on OK. Now you can see there is a preview of two images available. I can click on the upload. I can again recapture my face. And then I can click on upload and I'll be able to see I'm getting a file upload successfully message. Now once I'll come back to the portal now and I'll click on sync, you'll be able to see the file is uploaded here. If I'll click on preview, you'll be able to see those images has been uploaded here only. And this time only two images have been uploaded. Now I can click on OK. And this is how you upload images of the answer sheet that you have written. Please note when you upload the image, the image gets uploaded onto the same question 
option which is open on your laptop okay so for instance if we'll see when i was uploading the last image i was on question number two and therefore the image got uploaded in question number two itself so this is one thing that you have to keep in your mind when you are making this upload In order to submit the exam, I need to click on this finish button and if this finish button is not in red color and if you are not able to click it, most probably you will wait, you'll have to wait for some time before this button gets active because this button can be controlled by the person who has set this examination. So you have to be patient until this button gets active and if this button is active, you will be able to see this in red color and now I can click on this button finish to finish the test this is the summary of the total attempts that I have made and once I'm satisfied with this summary I can click on yes I want to finish and exit and once I'll do that you'll be able to see the status of my test has turned into completed